Breaking news this hour. Officials say multimillionaire Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life. Epstein, in a New York jail. Yeah, Epstein pleaded not guilty in July. That was to charges of trafficking dozens of underage girls, some as young as 14 years old, forcing them to have sex with his powerful friends. Uh, joining us now is CNN legal analyst Paul Callen and Eli Honing on the phone. Um, Paul, let me start with you first and foremost. I guess the big question now is what happens to the federal case that was moving forward? Well, the federal criminal case uh, will end uh, with his death. Uh, these criminal cases do not proceed after the death of a criminal suspect. But on the civil side, uh, where people are suing for money damages, those cases will continue. They'll now be converted uh, into an action against the estate of Jeffrey Epstein. And um, he presumably from press reports has a substantial estate. So I would expect the Epstein case will uh, continue uh, full force after, you know, after a, a brief period of time uh, while the lawyers manage to substitute the estate in for Jeffrey Epstein himself. Ellie, do you anticipate that there could be even more civil cases brought now? Over the last several weeks and months is that this scheme, this ring was, I think, even far broader than initially reported. We saw some documents unsealed just this week that showed that there were more than dozens, perhaps into the hundreds of victims. And as Paul noted, there's a substantial estate left behind here. Uh, and so those victims, I do expect to see more and more of them coming forward and seeking compensation for, for the, the serious damage that was done to them. So, Paul, let me ask you this. If you've got a, a case against him, you come forward. Even in the defamation suit that we were talking about from that was settled in 2017 of those documents that came out today or uh, late last night, um, if you've got a civil suit against him, what more do you have to have to prove your case other than just your word, Paul? Well, you're going to have available pretty much the same amount of information you would have had available even if he were still alive because remember, in those civil cases, it's unlikely that Jeffrey Epstein would agree to testify. He would assert the Fifth Amendment and refuse to testify. So the lawyers in those cases have to prove through collateral evidence, through other kinds of evidence, uh, and other witnesses, of which there probably are many, um, the facts of the case. But of course, in many instances in, uh, in sexual abuse litigation, uh, the case often comes down to the victim herself or himself and their word against um, the defendant. So uh, they managed to corroborate aspects by saying, for instance, that they complained to somebody else uh, around the time the incident happened. You know, they might use records to show that they were in the proximity of Epstein during that period of time. There are ways to collaterally support their claims. But frankly, I'm not sure that their difficulty in proving their case will change enormously. Um, there's a lot of research that's been done on him now and thousands and thousands of pages of uh, discovery that's already been generated. So I think you'll see these cases going forward and I think that it's likely that some of the victims will still be able to prove very strong and compelling cases uh, in courts uh, around the United States. I think you'll see cases uh, filed elsewhere as well as the ones that are now filed. Um, Ellie, we were talking to Julie K. Brown, the investigative reporter from the Miami Herald just before the break. and. She was thinking that perhaps now with the death of Epstein that um, more people would come forward. In other words, that they have been afraid or fearful for whatever reason to speak out. Um, now that may not be the case and we could see uh, more voices added to this. Do you expect something like that? I do. I agree with Julie. I think she's right. And I've dealt with a lot of victims of, of sexual assault and sexual violence. And there is always a fear factor. They, they will ask prosecutors and detectives, where is he? Is he locked up? Is he still around? Is he still a threat? Can he still do things to me? That is, we're talking about long-term trauma that stays with these victims uh, for, for years and years after the events happen. And so I think something like Epstein being no longer around, no longer alive, will, will make it easier for these victims to come forward. Because while he was locked up already, and that, and that is important and that makes a difference, there still is a fear factor. Does he have other people who can help him? Will he hire someone to come harass me? And, and now that's gone. So I do agree with Julie Brown. I think she's right. I think this will make it easier for victims to come forward, and I think it will reduce the fear factor for them. You know, you know Paul, Martin, go ahead, Paul. I just go ahead. 
Yeah, I, I just wanted to add, Christy, that um, New York has recently amended its sexual abuse laws, creating the ability for virtually any victim, regardless of when the sexual uh, abuse uh, took place, to file a lawsuit. Now, this is a big development in New York. Other jurisdictions are doing it as well. So I think you're going to find that uh, many victims who were, who were sort of closed out of lawsuits because they had let too much right. time good, pass right. will now file new lawsuits against sure. Jeffrey Epstein. So, Paul, let me ask you this: um, of this from this defamation suit, and you know the hundreds of pages that were released just yesterday uh, regarding this suit involving uh, accuser Virginia Joffrey. Again, that was settled in in 2017. We want to point out she was uh, alleging uh, abuse by him and others, and there were some really big names involved in that. Um, she was alleging that uh, she was abused by former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, by Prince Andrew, by attorney Alan Dershowitz. Where, and they have, we need to be very clear here, they have vehemently denied any of these allegations, some even denying they ever knew her. Um, where does it stand for those people that were accused, the, these high profile names? Well, they're in a really terrible situation because in some, uh, with respect to some aspects, um, lawsuits may not even be filed to get them against them, but their names are going to be prominently mentioned uh, probably for years to come as these Epstein lawsuits wend their way through the courts. But you could also expect that there could be actions against other prominent individuals filed as lawyers pour through the discovery materials that have now been unsealed by the courts and as investigations into Epstein's background continue. So um, I'll tell you, this case is going to be a huge, highly publicized case that's going to really go on for years. The only thing that I can think of that was as big was the O.J. Simpson case where, uh, of course, there were two full trials, a civil trial that followed the criminal acquittal. Um, I think much like that, you're going to see this Epstein case living on uh, in uh, the public media uh, for many years to come.